I've seen this on TikTok before, there's always troublemakers. The idea that he's going to have fun is making me shake. I can't. When I was in the police academy, he came to the police academy and was harassing all of the recruits. This is my second week here, so I don't know what the protocol is. <laughs> Quit touching me. Officer safety. Quit touching me. So in this situation, what's the... We're not going to talk about anything until our body cams are off. I've uh, processed to serve on several officers. It's a lot here. What did you guys do to this guy? Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In December of 2023, Dan from Auditing Erie County was at the Aurora Senior Center taking pictures and video of the public areas. The front office door was open, so he entered and at first met a pleasant gentleman. How you doing? I'm doing. Wait a minute, what are you doing? Me? Yeah, I'm just taking some pictures of the office here. <laughs> okay, don't take me. As soon as the man leaves, the woman working the desk raises concerns over Dan's recording. What are you taking pictures for? Oh, it's just a story I'm working on on that East Aurora. Okay. I'm and, just asking because uh, it's not every day somebody just comes in and randomly starts taking pictures. Yeah, just taking pictures of the office, what's available, some of the pamphlets on the wall, decorations, you know, how the place looks, what's available for the public. For? Public dissemination. I'm going to disseminate it all to the public. Well, I would really appreciate you writing your name down so the director... Excuse me, I, I, I don't feel comfortable you taking pictures and... Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah. Unless you I'm, have permission this from... This is a public area. Well, it is, but... Yeah. So anything I can see, I take pictures of. Could you give me your name just so the director knows who um, is... I actually can't because there might... Like I said, it's an investigation going okay. on, Okay, so. then maybe I would ask you to stop taking pictures then, please. Your name is? Uh, no, I'm not at liberty if you're not going to give me your name, sir. Don't you work for the public? I don't feel comfortable you filming. It's just a little awkward if you won't... Yeah, I mean, you can cover ...share why you're cover up anything that you think <laughs> is not supposed to be out to the public. The woman soon requests the assistance of another person that works in the building. Um, what are you doing here? Your name is? <laughs> I won't, yeah, I, won't. I don't have to give you my name. Um, oh, well, I don't HIPAA. have to listen to you because you won't even tell me who you are. Can um, I? Yeah, call because there's HIPAA protected information here, um, so we absolutely cannot be filming you. Yeah. That's weird. I've seen this on TikTok before. There's always troublemakers like this. I don't, I just don't feel comfortable. Shortly after, a police response is requested, and the women begin insulting Dan. Hi, this is Jennifer at the town of Aurora Senior Center. Could you please send a car over? I have an unwanted guest that will not leave. So I'm in a publicly accessible area. Yeah, I see um, clowns you like you all though, the time sir, the door on TikTok. You've seen what? You've seen what? Clowns like you on clowns, TikTok huh? all the time. Yeah. Sir, this the door public, was shut and the public. lights were off and you came in This door was fun. definitely not shut. It was shut. I'm a loser. Hi. I'm a loser? <laughs> Hi, Carol. Oh, uh, you guys are gonna. We don't find it funny. To I don't find it our... funny being called a loser either. I didn't call you any names. I said I don't find it funny and I don't feel comfortable. This is our members' club. This is a public entity. It is, but. but this is a public space. I don't go to this your home. It's publicly home. accessible. I don't go to your home and take pictures. I don't go to your home either. Dan asks to submit a records request, and roughly 10 minutes into the interaction, Officer Cartwright and a rookie arrive on scene. You want to see what's happening here? Oh, what's going on? Um, this man came into the building with no business being there, said it's a public building. We need to have HIPAA protected information. Our people that come to this building are protected by privacy laws, um, and he will not leave. He wants my name, he's filming us, and we really don't want him in there. Hey, Dan. And he's saying because it's a public place, he went into the office where they're by law. We are it's found the public by privacy. Accessible I area. To our open doors. He said he absolutely right up to the counter. We're talking to some people. Is, yeah. Healthcare information. Okay. You're hey. familiar with him? Yeah. Hey, Dan. He can do whatever he wants. He can't go in the office. Right. The officers follow everyone inside and start asking questions. Will you lock it? What? Yeah, lock it. Oh, she She's lock. coming. You can talk to the police officer through the window. And if he does go with that part of the building, it's a private nonprofit. Um, I do want the rest of the What part of the building is private? Are, are you aware, officer? Yeah, ma'am, we're trying to figure out where, where he can and can't go. Like, is there anything that... He absolutely is forbidden from going in that office. Sure. 
he's forbidden, I will have him arrested if he goes beyond that door right there, because mm -hmm. that's a private nonprofit. Okay. Um, there's something else privately I want to tell you. What part of this public building is private? There's an AA meeting starting soon. Okay. The idea that he's going to be filming is making me shake. I can't believe it. Okay. I, mean, I just walked up to the open door that says the reception area. I walked up to the reception's desk and they flipped out. Well, not everyone's happy with everyone. Transparency? Well, again, we don't know what people are doing. That's why we go to calls and talk to everyone involved and go from there, you know? Gotcha. So we clarify what part of this public building is non-publicly accessible, it's private? So anywhere besides the the rooms that she explained to you before. They're private? There's HIPAA protected information. Yeah, HIPAA apply to me. Like, I, I understand HIPAA. She said HIPAA. you can roam in here, go in the library, any of those rooms over there. Can I just grab your name and stuff? Don't work here. She okay. was just getting really upset. Um, you'll want to okay. I just right. didn't want to pretend my name. Were you the one that called? No, she was. Okay. Can I take you to a private part of the building and sure. we can talk? I don't know if he's doing right or wrong. I did not feel comfortable him being no. in here so, with the camera while I'm here by myself. So what he does? That light was off. That door was shut. Yeah. I was in my office. And he just barged in? Well, he didn't barge. Did he knock on the door? No. I heard somebody, so I got up. And there's a guy with a camera, and I'm like, excuse me. So the public is not allowed to walk in here with this camera? His name is Dan Mormis. He's, he's, when I was in the police academy, he came to the police academy and was harassing all of the recruits. So he's he does this all the time. Um, I just don't feel comfortable. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. They have people's personal information. They hit this protective. I'm standing here with a camera like this. Am I breaking the law? Can I just get like a rundown of everything that happened? So you said you're sitting at your desk? I was in here. Okay. That light was off. That door was shut. Okay. And then, you know, sometimes people come in and say hello. So he didn't. But I heard something, so I got up and I came around the corner and he was standing there with a camera. Who's the onus on to protect that information? Is it on me, the general public, or is it on the people who work the office? So when I came out, he was like taking pictures of that wall, and then he was taking pictures of the clipboards that are on our counter. Right. So the onus is on the people who are, you know, held by HIPAA, not not myself. Yes, but the door was closed and you walked no, in. So no, 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 the door was not closed. The door was closed when you first got here. No, it was not. Okay. That's that's what I was told. So yeah, they're lying. But that's why they record everything. Okay. So. I asked him for his business card to give to our director. You, people just don't walk in and start filming. Yeah, that's this guy does, unfortunately. Going forward, try and put up some private property signs or okay. keep, keep mm -hmm. things locked where you don't want the general public getting into kind of thing. Okay. Sucks, but... Yeah, okay. What, what sucks we'll about do. freedom in the right? Yeah, because normally the people that come to the senior center never, ever, ever go in that office. Sure. What okay. is unfortunate so about people having constitutional rights? He can't come in my place, and if he does, uh, I'll call. Yeah, by all means. Okay. All right. So I, I guess lesson learned going forward, kind yeah. of. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate. But by all means, call okay. anytime. Okay. 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 Thanks. Thank you, right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What is what is unfortunate about people exercising their constitutional rights? Thank you, Officer Johnson. That's, You're what, welcome. that's what we call the walk of shame right there. If he if he does go in any other places, he's told not to. Right. Either call back. I don't know what the plan is. This is my second week here, so I don't know what the protocol is. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so, if he does go anywhere, he's not supposed to just call back. Okay. okay. Thank you. Is the officer spy come out, or is so? What, what is unfortunate about people being able to exercise their rights and hold government accountable? You don't think you got the whole thing, Dan? No. Because that's what I heard. Like you're, you're just saying it's not unfortunate. It is. Unfortunately, we're allowed to exercise constitutional rights in public. I don't get it. It's not a good look for the East Aurora PD. You're not representing them well. Your body camera around the whole time in here. Is your body camera Get out of my way. Get out of your way. I'm looking at touching me. Officer safety. Quit touching Man. me. Why are you touching? Why is he touching me? He wants to get past you to get into that office. The door's locked. Sure he, he didn't even say excuse me or nothing. He's just gonna grab me? Who do you think you are? You need to file a complaint against you? Do what you got to do, right? 
I ask you a question, is your body camera on this whole time? Then you just put your hands on me. Yeah. I don't have to file a complaint against this clown. Yeah, all good? Yeah. Okay. Just Who, who's the supervisor around here? Is there a supervisor here? Lieutenant Welch is the supervisor on duty today. Can you call him down here? Sure. Thank you. Officer oh, Cartwright right here thinks he can just put his hands on somebody, you can move him out of the way instead of saying, excuse me, I'm not under arrest, I'm not breaking the law. You have zero authority over me. You do not put your hands on citizens. You don't grab their arms like that. You don't push nobody. That's not lawful. You don't have no lawful authority to do nothing. And nobody's breaking the law. Do you understand? You good? Yep. All right. Why don't you stick around while your supervisor comes down here after you put your hands on me? Lieutenant Welch is on his way down, man. Officer Cartwright and the rookie leaves the scene as Dan waits for a supervisor. I basically just told them that, well, she, she gave me her side of the story. And he didn't do anything. He did exactly what he's always done. And then I told her just if she, you know, he goes anywhere that he's not supposed to, call back. In an older interview, Officer Cartwright was asked if the police get heckled in East Aurora. His response was that it happens rarely when they're in uniform because people know that they can get away with it because officers are supposed to be the bigger person. The answer demonstrates Officer Cartwright's superficial understanding of his role as a peace officer. He's not exactly wrong, as we do expect that word shouldn't trigger an officer, but his reply suggests that he doesn't have a deep understanding of the First Amendment's protection to express express opinions and beliefs without government interference or censorship. His answer continues, explaining that they can't just go beat the hell out of someone when out of uniform, which is an extremely odd response for the context of the question. But then he says that integrity is everything with this job, as it should be. Integrity is typically described as doing the right thing even when no one is watching, which doesn't align with what he says here. So in this situation, what's the... We're not going to talk about anything until our body cams are off. If the officer had integrity, surely he could give his honest account of the encounter and testify as to why he acted the way he did with the body cams rolling, right? Why else would an officer reserve his statements about his involvement in an alleged simple assault? That question will be saved for a supervisor, Lieutenant Welch, who now arrives on scene to take Dan's complaint. Is all these ladies in an uproar in there over there? What's going on? Not much. Uh, I need to file an uh, official complaint against an officer of yours who put his hands on me unlawfully. What's that? I need to file an official complaint against an officer who put his hands on me unlawfully. What is he? Can you stop recording? Grab my arm and he pushed me on my chest. Yeah, watch my arm. What, did he, what do you mean he put his hands on you? He grabbed my arm and he pushed me on my chest and tried to move me because of officer safety, he claimed, but... Okay. He has no lawful authority to put his hands on anybody. Well, what what happened? What led up to it? I asked him if his body camera was on and he ignored me. And I took a step over like this to him to his point of view. I said, I said, sir, is your body camera on? And then he grabbed me. He grabbed me around, you know, around my arm right here. And he pushed me like this and he tried moving me. And uh, I, I didn't break no law, so I don't see what authority he had to even put his hands on me or have any control of where a free citizen stands or, or, or is, you know, to move. So I want to file an official complaint. Do you, have a, to, do you have a video? I do have of a video. Of this whole incident? I have it on body camera, I have it on this camera, and I have it on this camera. What was the officer's name? I want to say it was Cartwright. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I do have an officer cart right here. Yeah, Cartwright. It was just here at this call. Was this inside here? It was inside here. Okay. Why don't you show me how this whole thing went down? Well, this lady who works for the public who won't identify herself called the police because I was filming in publicly accessible areas. I didn't call, and I don't work for the. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm talking to him right now. They came. They lied. This lady lied and said this door was shut and it was a restricted access area. The door was wide open. I was standing here and I asked him, and it's on his body camera, it's on my body camera, it's on four different cameras. I'm sure there's some security footage in here of him grabbing me. 
And uh, I asked him, you know, is your body camera on for this? Because he was saying uh, unprofessional things like, unfortunately, the public has the right to video record in public spaces. And I asked him, I said, it's unfortunate that people have civil rights, you know. And he just, he's ignoring me, acting very unprofessional as an officer, unbecoming of the uniform. And he was standing here, I think he was looking into this window. And I asked him if his body camera was on. That's when I stepped over and I said, sir, is your body camera on? That's when he reached out and grabbed me. Okay. And he had no no did lawful you, did you like enter his personal space. Or no, that he felt threatened no, like, by you. Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I, I could stop this one camera, roll it back if you want to see it. Like no closer than me and you. He had to step forward to grab me. Dan now shows Lieutenant Welch his video, which makes it clear that Officer Cartwright not only steps forward to grab a hold of Dan to move him, he takes three steps to enter Dan's personal space without asking Dan to move. Prior to that, did he ask you to get out of the way so he could go in there? And did he he watched the aside? whole thing. He watched the whole thing. What, what transpired prior to so, so he was trying to get in here for, I'm good. I don't even think he was trying to get in there. He, officer Spahn was in that room. Okay, so there was an officer in so there. So the officer with him is currently in training so if he was watching him his performance or watching his whatever it is he was doing he was observing his trainee if he needed to if he felt the need to go in there to deal with him i don't know i haven't talked to him yet but is that what all right so let's say i'm here to here? take pictures and i want to take a picture behind you do i just say get out of the way grab your arm and your chest and move you well or do you say no. excuse me i have not broken the law here okay i haven't committed no crime so he has no authority to put his hands on me whatsoever all right. Well, I've got your information. I will obviously investigate. I'm gonna look at. I'll look at everything that I. All the things that I have access to, and I'll get. You know, I'll be. I'll be sure to get back to you with what we figure out. Two weeks after lodging his complaint with Lieutenant Welch, Dan called the department for updates regarding the incident and left two messages for his supervisors, but was never called back. Eventually. Lieutenant Welch finished his report, in which he wrote that Officer Cartwright did not grab Dan or act aggressive in any way, and that he told Dan that he was moved for officer safety, as if it were a catch-all excuse granting officers the ability to do anything they please. Body camera Get out of my way. Get out of your way. I'm looking. Quit touching me. Officer safety. Quit touching Dan. me. Why are you touching why is he touching me? He wants to get back to get into that office. In a report given to the chief, Lieutenant Welch further wrote that the complaint was unfounded and that the body cam footage made it clear that when Cartwright used his left arm to move Dan, that it was in fact Dan that pressed his body against Officer Cartwright, which means the only options for Lieutenant Welch is that he A, failed to investigate properly, B, he is blind, C, he's incredibly stupid, or D, he is thoroughly corrupt, but you will have to decide that for yourself. So here from the second angle, you can clearly see if Mr. Welch's eyes were open, his officer did grab my arm after writing he did it in the paperwork, which of course in lines the problem. Finding no accountability within the department's ranks, in early April, Dan filed a lawsuit against the seven officers that responded to the incident. Yeah, I'm, I'm just here to, I've uh, processed to serve on several officers. I've got uh, process to serve on officers Stephen Cartwright, Patrick Welch, Richard Gottstein, Paul Spahn, then there's a general one here for, I guess, the town and the department as a whole. It's a lot here. What would you guys do to this guy? All right, um, I'll leave for leave whatever you got for the officers. Do, are the officers here to serve personally, do you know? Um, I can take a look. A couple of them are out on calls right now. Yeah, if you could take a look because uh, I'd like to serve them in person if I can, per the requirements. Um, okay. If you could check into Sounds that good. for Why me. You, take a seat on the bench. I'll have you you got it. Yeah, hey, how are, we, how are we doing today? Uh, I have uh, process service to provide to several East Aurora officers. Um, can I get your name and badge number? I'm uh, Lieutenant Welch. Okay, so I think I have one for you here. I've got one for Officer Cartwright. Well, he's uh, not here, so you'll have to come back when he's here. Patrick Welch? Yep. Okay. Richard Gottstein? Ah, uh, he's here, sure. Okay. Uh, can you come out as well to be personally served? I'll get a hold of him. Sure. Okay. And then I've got, let's see, Paul Spahn. And then this is just generally for the town and the police department itself. So, I mean, you can... It'd be I'll great take, to personally take, serve him. I'll take that one and I'll take the one for me. Okay, so that's here's that guy. And then 
Welch. It's a lot here. Did, what, what, what ended up happening with this guy? Did you guys put your hands on him or something? I don't have anything to say. You don't have anything to say? Thank you. Can I, can I speak with the other officers? No. Who are, well, I need to serve them, sir. Not here. Well, can, you, sir, can you accept on their behalf? No. You're, you're refusing service? You can serve them personally. Well, I'm asking you to accept service because this is their place of employment. I'm asking you to accept service because this is their place of employment. Are you refusing service? You can, you can probably serve. I'll take them then. Okay. Yeah, sure. So you're accepting service. Yep. I'll All right. Take them. Thanks a lot. So we're down here now at the East Aurora Village Hall, and of course the town hall is right next to us. And we're going to go in here and serve up the village and the town all at one time here we got our process service here with us today redress now of course i can't serve because my name's on the paperwork so Hi. how, you, how doing? you doing today good how are you good um i just have process to serve uh for the village clerk okay. oh, uh, process service for a lawsuit okay yeah this is for the village clerk is she available or he How are you doing today? Okay. Are you Maureen Dracus, the village clerk? Yep. Okay, I just have uh, process service to provide to you for a lawsuit. How are you doing today? Uh, I just need to speak with the town clerk. I've got uh, process service to provide regarding uh, a, a legal matter. Okay. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good, are you the town clerk? I am. Can I just get your first and last name? Martha Lagrock. Okay, just have uh, process service to provide for you for a legal matter. Okay. Again. Just one copy in here? Yeah. Okay. Perhaps the defendants will settle quickly. Maybe they won't. The department might even grow up and take responsibility for their actions. I highly doubt it, but anything is possible. If you're unfamiliar with Dan's channel, I'll link the three-part series concerning this incident below. But in the meantime, let me know what you think. Are police departments capable of holding themselves accountable? If you enjoy these videos, be sure to check out another episode, linked on screen. And if you have a video you'd like to see featured, email me or submit it using the form linked in the pinned comment.